Okay, rock stars, put on your seatbelts and crash helmets. I've got a good one for you today. We're talking about the word salad of California sober. You got it. We're talking about California sober, and I'm going to be reacting to some TikTok videos and kind of giving you my opinion. Look, and it's only my opinion, and uh, any criticism I give of people, still love you. Do what works for you. But I had to do this video because I see so much bad advice on TikTok and on the internet about alcoholism, getting sober, addiction. So I'm just giving you my opinion of somebody who has spent multiple decades sober. And I want to react to a couple of videos here, but I want to talk about this. California sober trend that seems to be gaining a lot of traction. And I, you know, let me just go to this first video here. Uh, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Can you be California sober? I know that's gotten a lot of press lately. And what it means is you've traded to have harder drugs like, you know, cocaine and heroin for marijuana on occasion, or you're not drinking as heavily, maybe you've reduced your drinking to moderate levels. You know what we call that? We still call that sober. You see, the 12-step program co-opted the term sober to mean uh, complete abstinence. But that isn't what sober means. Sober means not intoxicated, okay? So you can have a couple glasses of wine and still be sober. You can have a hit off a joint and still be sober. So it's time for us to take back the term sober from the 12 step community. Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm going to, I'm going to need a hit to respond to that one. That, that was okay. We're diving into this here. I have to tell you, in my opinion, that is one of the most dangerous pieces of advice that you could give to an alcoholic. First of all, sober is sober. Sober is sober. Why are you, why are we even talking about sober? Right? If you're an alcoholic and you're getting sober, it's because you're an alcoholic. So why are we even talking about marijuana and drinking a few and not getting intoxicated? Let me just give you a little bit of, and you know, this person might not know this, but alcoholics, the problem is the first drink. The problem is not, if, if we could drink casually we would have done that we would have done that i think that is you know somebody who's listening to this that maybe has an addiction problem and we're going to get into that a little bit because there is a difference between somebody who might have an addiction problem or a problem drinker and you know decides that they're not going to do it anymore and they're not really an alcoholic and they've never been an alcoholic and i'm not going to define that for you you got to define it for yourself and, you know, everybody's got to go on that own journey. But for me, I, you know, look, if I have a couple of drinks, but not quite buzzed, as an alcoholic, I'm going to want more drinks to get buzzed. Alcoholics are drinking because we want to have a couple drinks. This is just, I, I just feel that this is just mind-blowingly crazy. I'm just going to say, in my opinion, my opinion only. What do I know? But I'm just telling you, this is alcoholic thinking. Thinking that you can have a couple of drinks, but not quite be this. For alcoholics, no. For alcoholics, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's just not something you can do. It's just not. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show one more video here because uh, this is another one I found on TikTok that I, I just had to show you guys. I want your opinion. This is exactly why it doesn't make sense to say you can drink after you have like healed that addiction and the desire to drink. Because if I drink, I could care less about having alcohol the next day. And that's because I'm healed from the trauma that caused me to excessively not want to be sober. And it's been many, many years since I have been involved in that addiction. Um, I was like 300 pounds and unhealthy and then I realized that I got out of the relationship and I slowly started to gain who I was back. 
and now I drink in moderation. I drink just to be social and I never have alcohol in my house hardly. So it's like for people to tell other people how to heal and that you weren't an addict if you still drink, like who cares? Who cares? Like I'm not drinking excessively. I'm not drinking all the time and I don't crave it. So they're wrong and I don't care. Woo! We got to unpack that one, folks. We got to unpack that one. Uh, first of all, I just got to say, and I'm just, I'm throwing this out there. Just an alcoholic in recovery, throwing this out there. If you can drink in moderation, do you have an addiction problem? I mean, that's one of the first things that they told me when I came in is, hey, go out. You know, if you're unsure, man, if you're unsure, go out and experiment with it a little bit. Now, I'm not saying you should do that. I think it's a very dangerous thing because obviously if you're thinking about, man, I, I, I really need to get sober. What the hell's going on? Why are you thinking that anyway? Like, right? Why are you thinking that? Do you, do you have an addiction problem or is it just a health issue or whatever it might be? But you got to look, you got to look into that first of all. But this whole idea that somehow alcoholics and people who have major addiction problems can just take it or leave it once they start drinking or using is I just, I have found in my own personal experience and, you know, having a huge network of people who are sober, who have done that, it does not usually end up well for them. Now, would it end up well for some people? Maybe if it does, great. It works out great for you. But if you're listening to this, one of the reasons I want to do this, because if you're, people are listening, they're going to TikTok and they're saying, man, I, I'm an alcoholic. I got to, you know, I'm trying to get sober. Can I, can I drink occasionally? And they're seeing these videos. And what happens is, and I'm not saying it with these specific people and, you know, love you all, but love you all. I think it's great to have this conversation, but somebody sees a video that that's an alcoholic and says, well, yeah, I can drink like my fellows and then drinks themselves to death because we don't know when that opening to be able to get sober is going to happen again. And I think this is the word salad of this California sober thing. That is such BS. And I'm just, I'm going to call guys. I'm calling it out right now. And I know you're going to get, I know I'm going to get some hate for this. I'm calling it out. This is word salad. This is the exact same thing that alcoholics tell themselves. Well, it wasn't that bad. Ah, yeah, yeah. Three DUIs, you know, it wasn't four. You know, this is the exact same BS that gets alcoholics in trouble once they've sobered up and thought, well, maybe it won't be this bad this time. This is the same thinking. And I think where we have created this word salad is we've confused people who've decided to stop for a lifestyle choice. It's a lifestyle choice. Like, for example, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I have cut down on carbs and processed sugar. Okay. It's a lifestyle thing and it's a medical thing. I don't want to eat refined sugar as what well. now will I eat refined sugar every once in a while? Have a, a piece of birthday cake. You know, holidays come up. I want to have a, a special thing of ice cream. Yes. Yes. Have I ever been somewhat addicted to sugar? Yes, I did. Okay. But I can have one and walk. I've proven to myself I could do that. This is a lifestyle for me with not eating a large amount of sugar. Okay. But it's not the same way with alcoholics. You're either an alcoholic or you're not an alcoholic. Okay. Alcoholics, the problems start after you get rid of the alcohol. There's a lot of people who have addiction problems. They get addicted to something. They get they they get off of it. They go on with their lives. They can use, not use, what whatever, right? But people are confusing this California sober thing with alcoholism, and people are just doing some sort of lifestyle thing. Lifestyle thing. Hey, man, more power to you. More power to you. Drinking's not good for anyone, really. I mean, maybe it reduces anxiety for some people. 
Um, definitely reduces anxiety for alcoholics. Problem is we just can't stop drinking, right? But alcoholism is different than a lifestyle change of just, well, I've just decided not to eat gluten. Doesn't mean that you're, you know, if you're celiac, you can't eat gluten. If you're intolerant to gluten, you might be able to eat gluten a little bit, right? So this is where I think this word salad comes in. I found this video and I got to play this, guys. And I, I definitely want, you know, I want your thoughts on this in the notes. I found this video. It's so brilliant that describes the difference between people and why alcoholics can't be California sober. Being California sober would never work for me for a number of reasons. For one, I used to just smoke weed all day, every day. I was never not high, so having that as part of my recovery plan doesn't make sense. But also, my addiction manifests in three ways. I have a mental obsession, a physical craving, and a spiritual malady. And what that means is once I put that substance into my body, I will continue to crave it. I will lose control, and then I will probably turn to other substances and other risky behaviors. Wow. I mean, this is a huge, huge applause for this person. I have to tell you, they nailed it in less than a minute about why alcoholics cannot be California sober. Okay. They nailed it because she breaks down these three things. And this is what I think a lot of people don't understand that is a light that, that are doing not drinking for a lifestyle change and a health change. God bless, man. Great, great. I think we should all eat better. I think we all shouldn't take in things that hurt us, right? Great. And I, man, I'm totally supportive. And I have friends and family members who've decided they just don't want to drink anymore, but they're not alcoholics, but they're not, but they just choose not to because it just doesn't work for them. Oh man, I wish that was me. I wish that was me, but it's not me. And this person breaks down so beautifully here, so beautifully exactly why alcoholics in my opinion cannot be california sober successfully because we have a physical allergy right we have a mental obsession okay? and we have a spiritual component that's going on and this is super 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 important to understand if you're an alcoholic and you're deciding hey man i'm going to i'm going to go I've decided that I'm going to do this whole California sober thing. I've been sober. Yeah, I'm going to do this whole California sober thing. I believe it's a mistake, especially if you have sobriety. Why do I say that? What, what, why do I say that? I say that specifically because I think a lot of recovery, living your best recovered life, which is why I do this whole show and the show and these segments and everything is really about changing or thinking in recovery. So what is my, is my thinking like, Hey, you know what? I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to escape this way through a drug instead of, uh, you know, Jim Bean. No, I, I just, that thinking isn't, that thinking's not right. And I think you got to ask yourself, in my opinion, if you're an alcoholic is what is this thinking? Is this alcoholic thinking that says that I can abuse marijuana or, or get stoned, right? It, what is this? What, what, what is this? What is this thinking? And I think that that's, you know, man, I, I just think it's, it, it's so important. So I want to talk about the next thing, which is judgment here. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack from this. Um, and, you know, definitely put it in the comments. I, you know, I can take it, you know, I've been, I've been sober for decades. I've seen all of this. I've seen all of this. I've seen the guy five years sober, the soccer mom who decides, you know what? I could just still have a little bit of wine. I can still have a little bit of wine. It's not hard alcohol. It's not beer. And go out and lose everything. I've seen it. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not, I'm not making millions off this, guys. So that is why I'm doing this. So I want, I want to show you this next video because it's about judgment of people who are California sober, Let, let's just roll this. You can see it. If someone comes up to you and says, oh, but you're California sober, so you do smoke weed, but you haven't drank in three years or four years, but so you're California sober, 
Those are the shitty people that just want to get under your skin. They already know what you're doing. They're just having to tell you that they think you're not quite sober, right? Or you're California sober. Go fuck yourself. Don't ever come to a person that's working on their sobriety with that bullshit. You got your own fucking problems. Of course they're smoking. Of course they're doing edibles. Of course they're drinking too much coffee. You think someone's going to fucking quit drinking after 20 years? After they've lost everything? And they're going to go eat broccoli and drink water? Are you kidding me? Okay? That's the plan that you're going to help them with? Oh, so you're California sober. You're not sober, but... Listen, it takes effort. They don't need your effort. You could throw a stone and see this person in any 12-step group in the United States, I'm telling you. First of all, much love to this person. A lot of bravery for putting this out there. And I'm going to say this is where I totally agree with him is no one should be going up to anybody and defining their sobriety. No one should be doing that. I wouldn't want it done to me. I don't think you should do it to somebody else. Mind your own business. Stay in your own lane. But let me tell you this, because there was a little hint of this, and I'm not saying this person had it, but let me just give you this scenario, and you might see this person around. Here is the deal. If you're in a 12-step meeting, if you're in a recovery group, if you're in rehab, and you're there to, quote, work on your recovery, and you're sharing that around alcoholics, oh, yeah, they're going to tell you. Or if you get a sponsor, or if you're working with somebody who has long-term sobriety, who probably isn't California sober. Yes. Yes, they're going to tell you that. And you know why they're going to tell you that? They're going to tell you that because they don't want you to die, man. They don't want you. They want you to get into recovery and move forward with your life. They don't want you in a, in a giant hold, medical hold. They don't want you uh, relapsing. And they don't want you going to where hundreds of thousands of other people that we see all the time go. Which is, well, now I can handle this, I can handle this, and I can handle this, and I can handle that. Okay? That is the thinking. This is alcoholic thinking. And I mean, I'm just going to wrap this all up. And, and, and no judgment on any of the people that I showed here. Everybody has an opinion, man. That's what I love about America. Everyone can have an opinion. And if it works for you, great. But I'm just going to tell you this, guys. Final thoughts as we cruise into the end of this year. Final thoughts. If you're an alcoholic and you've been sober for a period of time and you're through the experimental stage, don't do this. Don't do it. Reach out to Uncle Damon, head on over to recoveredlife.tv, hit me up there, and we can have a discussion. And if not me, somebody else. Have a lot of discussions with people and look internally and ask yourself, am I deciding that I'm going to do this for a health reason? Because the last I checked, smoking marijuana is unhealthy to your lungs. It's unhealthy. Okay? It's unhealthy. So, Am I, am, are you doing this because of your thinking? And what is that thinking? So I just want people to think it through before they throw away what they have. And for some people, I'm just going to say, they don't make it back, man. They don't make it back. And I want you to stay. And if you're out there, I want you to make it back. Hit me up. Comments below if you want. And hit us up at Recovered Life TV. All right, guys. That's a wrap for this one.